Hello, and welcome back to our ESU From the Workbench series. Today, we have a tech tip for you. Have you ever had a locomotive that stutters or jerks at slow speeds? Maybe a steam engine that binds at certain parts of the revolution. Many of these kind of problems can be taken care of by making adjustments to the back EMF settings of your decoder. Without getting too technical, Back EMF, or BEMF, stands for Back Electromotive Force. It is the voltage or electromotive force that pushes against the current which induces it. There are many CVs that control the back EMF. ESU decoders provide you a simple way to optimize these settings by using CV54. All we will need to implement these adjustments is a straight piece of track, your command station, and the locomotive you wish to tune. For this demonstration, I will be using our ESU ECOS command station. You can use any command station that you have as long as you understand how to change CV values within the decoder. With the locomotive on the track, Press the Setup button on the ECOS, then go to Setup 2. You want to make sure you're set for main track programming. You want to make sure that the locomotive number is correct. You want to make sure that you're changing CV54 and the value should be 0. Press the Right button. Once that is complete, hit the green check. This procedure will obviously differ if you have another command station, but the point is to set CV54 equal to 0. Once you have set CV54 to 0, press the F1 key on your command station or your throttle. Your locomotive will take off for a few seconds. During this time, the decoder is reading the back EMF and making adjustments accordingly. When the decoder is finished reading the back EMF, the engine will stop and the bell will sound. Press F1 again on your command station to stop the bell. CV54 is now populated with the optimal settings. Go ahead and use your command station or your throttle to test your locomotive. You should see a definite improvement in performance. CV54 will no longer contain the value 0. It will contain the value calculated during the optimization. If I want to read CV54 on my ECOS, I click on Setup, Setup 2, Make sure I'm set for main track programming, my locomotive number is correct, and I'm looking for CV54. Click the read button, and you can see the value of 60 shows up. Obviously, this would be different every time you optimize a locomotive. This procedure, using CV54, will not fix all problems, but will fix many common issues. Over time, dirt and grime can build up in your locomotive. Gears and other mechanical parts can also fail. After fixing these mechanical issues the best you can, follow this procedure again to optimize your locomotive. Thank you for joining us for this edition of From the Workbench. For other great videos and more information, be sure to check out our website at www.locsound.com. Thank you for choosing ESU for your model railroad needs.